Welcome to another episode of Confessions of a Career Coach with Elena Agat. So today's confession is that thing I talk about where I always say experiment, experiment did not come from some planned out, you know, strategy that I had when I was younger. And I said, I'm just going to experiment with all these things. It came out of necessity because back in when I was 19 and 20, and I've, I've started kind of just doing multiple things, although I've worked since I was 15, this multiple jobs, multiple gigs kind of thing really kicked in when I was like 19 and 20 and, and basically stayed with me, with me throughout my life up until this very moment. Um, and I was doing it again, not because I had this big plan or strategy. I was doing it because I didn't know what to do and because I felt like I was failing in life <laughs> because I had no idea what I wanted to do, what I'm good at, uh, you know, what career is interesting to me, who I was, you know, what I bring to the table, none of that. So the only thing that kept me kind of moving is just trying different things and trying to hopefully justify that because I don't know where the hell I'm going, at least I'm doing something. At least I'm doing something. And that made me feel kind of better and, and kept me going through all the ups and downs when it comes to me when I was trying to figure out what is it that I'm trying to do in my life. So, and later on, I mean, years later down the road, really just in recent years, honestly, I have realized that not only did it help me figure out what I want to do, not only did it show me different pathways that I can take. Not only did it teach me the skills to wear, to be able to wear all these different hats that have been so beneficial to every company I work for and with, every client that I talk to, all of these diversified experience that I had from, I mean, every industry you can think of, whether it's hospitality or healthcare um, or uh, construction or um, cleaning services, um, you name it. I probably like done some work in some industry throughout my career. Um, all of those things not only made me who I am today and useful to any organization I work for, but also helped me create this very unique career for myself, this very diversified career that ultimately all fa falls under the umbrella of talent development and well-being. But this just my own version of talent development and career strategist and, you know, this well-being person. And I would have not have been able to do that if I just stuck to a very traditional way. And part of it is also because maybe I was curious and I was never really afraid to take chances. Like I'm not a huge, huge risk taker, but I do have stamina for a substantial amount of risk. Um, and I've done some of some risky moves in my, in my career in general. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is that sometimes experimentation is not, doesn't have to be planned out. Sometimes it's just trying different things. And I say this because a lot of people always ask for help with, uh, career change or breaking into a new industry and building a personal brand and all of that. And ultimately, the best thing I can say is that doing something instead of trying to plan out and having this perfect action plan that you think is going to just, you know, uh, do some wonders for you, you know, doing something is just better than doing nothing. And it's better than over planning and overthinking and over analyzing. Um, the reality is, especially if you're, you know, younger, if you don't have much responsibility, maybe you don't have a family to take care of, just do whatever you feel like you want to do. Like, there's no wrong answers here. And so, you know, I really cannot stress this enough. And we see the world of work changing more towards people that can be so flexible and that can be moved around in organizations and that can wear multiple hats. But not only that, it opens up your mind and your skill set to all the different things you would have never came across if you were just stuck in one area of work that you're doing. And so I encourage you to, no matter where you are, you know, particularly those people that are looking for a career change and not sure where to go, start exploring all these different things that you can try. They don't have to be part-time. And please stop with the, I don't have time. If you don't have time, who does? It's your career, it's your life, do you, boo-boo. But don't make an excuse that you don't have time. You know, so experimentation is the best thing you can do for whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Again, whether it's career change, whether it's breaking into a new industry, you don't know until you try it. You don't know until you put yourself out there. And throughout all of these, you also find out who you are and who you're not. And that is also how you build a personal brand. So I encourage you, no matter where you are today, just take a moment and don't be afraid to look at things that you can try today. They don't have to be major. They can just be little mini, mini steps, mini things. But I really, really believe there's magic in that. And it has, you know, got me to where I am today, which is in a very fulfilling, um, truly fulfilling and rewarding career. And I really wish that for everybody, um, everybody, because I think we can all have it. So till next time.